What's going on everybody? So I wanted to make a quick video, keep it short, keep it sweet. Uh, DD15, DD13, a lot of trucks when they come from a fleet and the guys buy them on the you know secondary market used from Penske, Swift, whatever. A lot of them will shut down after five minutes. So it's kind of an idle shutdown, whether you bump up the RPMs or you just have it idling after five minutes, it will shut down. So what you're gonna need to do in most cases you're gonna need your software, okay? That's the only way you're gonna be able to get into there and make the changes. You're gonna go ahead and go into your parameters, okay? Because that's where your changes are. That's where your your speed governing is at, your cruise control, uh, a number of things. So in this case, you're gonna launch that and you're gonna see a bunch of different tabs, okay? You can go over to where it says PTO or you can go to where it says idle shutdown, okay? Again, look at a couple different options and you're gonna see where, what we have here. So it says enable idle shutdown, it's disabled. However, if you look at enable PTO, which is gonna be using your cruise control to bump up the RPMs. Again, that's called PTO. Uh, it says it is enabled PTO. So what we're gonna do is go here and we're gonna to go to, just click on it. You're gonna get a, bunch, a drop down menu. You're gonna to go to where it says disable. Okay, so you're gonna click on that. And now at this point, you've now disabled that. However, you need to save the changes, okay? Now in order to do that, you go down to your bottom right. That's it, you go down to your bottom right where it says send, okay? You're gonna go to send, click on that. You're gonna get a little pop-up screen just like this. Sorry about the glare, but there we go. Hopefully it's a little bit better. So you go to the, there we go. So you go to send, you're gonna go to your bottom right where it says okay. Sometimes you get a little pop-up just like this and it's gonna ask you for a password, okay? It's a general password. In most cases, it is going to be zeros. One, two, three, four, zeros. Click on okay and it should automatically start sending. There we go. And just like that, you've saved the changes to any parameter you may have changed, okay? Whether it's speed, if you wanna increase speed or in some cases, decrease the speed. Some of these are really opened up quite a bit. So that's where you would go. So I'm actually, this customer wants me to go ahead and lower the speed for fuel reasons. So as you can see, well, it's already been done. 74 miles per hour, 75 miles per hour, okay? Speed limiter, same thing. So the speed's already been adjusted. And the, the last thing I changed on there was the idle shutdown. So if this helps you guys out quite a bit, if you have the issue where it shuts down about every 300 seconds, which is about every five minutes, this is what you need to do to change that. So hope you guys uh, find this video a little entertaining. If you do, if you have any other questions, let me know. But again, this is where you would make those changes in your parameters. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, short, sweet video, all done. If you guys have any questions, as always, hit me up. I try to get back to you guys as fast as possible.